let's get it. I fought for 16 passenger. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Um, I'm going to start by playing something for you and then I'm gonna come back with my commentary. Your Zoom says, get on your Zoom says it's time to get out of bed and get to work, whether you're sick whether you're healthy, whether you just being a mom. And at the end of the day, I took care of my kids first, but I came in here and got to work. Everybody asked me, what motivates me to post content? Y'all wanna be real? Money, taking care of my kids, being able to do things for my kids that I never was able to do. And plus just being able to spend time with them. Y'all, all the hate in the world could never take away my content creation job. I love it here. Chabu. The thing that is crazy to me is that she says money is her motivator, but yet she doesn't make enough money to take care of her bills, take care of her kids, take care of anything. She just talked about how she is broken, struggling, and how although she does also get child support, uh, the child support that comes from her man to his kids that she should encourage him to take care of she actually does not want him to take care of she actually says it affects her house in a negative way and she is upset that he has to pay child support now the reason i did this video wasn't even that Child, did y'all hear her talking about get on on that zoom y'all know she in peach mcintyre class right that's why peach was watching her video peach is watching her video trying to give her pointers now Peach ain't got nothing positive going on on her channel. Although she does get views, you cannot dispute that. The girl gets views and she makes money from content creation. But what she don't make money from, or should I say what she's not a success at, is teaching other people how to do the same. Because you cannot replicate drama. You cannot replicate the negativities and idiosyncrasies that is Peach McIntyre. Her bad marriage, her bad household situation, the fact that she claims she rich but can't even uh, take care of her kid's hospital bill, which she should have had insurance for in the first place, which means she dumb as hell. I mean, I really shouldn't have said dumb as hell, but in that instance, she's dumb as hell. Because the first part of taking care of your children is making sure that they are healthy, making sure that they are happy and taken care of medically. That that should be her first priority. But y'all, what y'all got to say about my jazzy life? Been on this platform 11 years, but feel like she needs help from Peach McIntyre. So wine glass and chill need help from Peach. My jazzy life need help from Peach, but ain't it interesting that Peach came on this platform and when Chrissy was on live, dropped $200 on her doggone uh super chat what a money at? jasmine and wine glass what do that say about y'all that y'all gotta pay peach but peach is paying uh chrissy now chrissy don't even come on here regularly her channel is still growing and peach is giving her money but y'all up in her shit and getting drug all over the internet maybe y'all should find somebody else to pattern yourselves after because honey peach ain't helping y'all as a matter of fact, I got an idea, ladies. Why don't you guys pay Chrissy? Yeah. The key to longevity at anything is definitely not negative connotations. It's positive. And the only thing that keeps people watching Peach is that she consistently recreates drama that people talk about. Now, if that's the type of channels that you guys want, uh, being known for being nasty and being known for being a child abuser. Um, I mean, that's unfortunate for y'all, but Mishma, tell me what y'all think. Let's talk about this in the comments.